guys welcome back to my channel in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a ribbon tutu skirt begin by cutting tall strips from a spool double the length of the skirt you want to make mine measure about 20 inches because I want to make a 10 inch skirt for a three-year-old I've also cut out some strips of ribbon the same width as my tool the ribbon is going to be attached at each end of the strip of tool as shown. To prevent the ribbon from fraying, you're going to need to heat seal these. And here I'm just using a lighter. Moving on to your sewing machine, place the shiny side down of the ribbon. Or if your ribbon is double sided, make sure the ribbon the curved side is facing up as well as with, for the tool you'll notice that it's got a natural curve to it you want to place the tool with the curve facing up as well before you sew so here i'm just going to attach the ribbon to the tool the ribbon is underneath the tool that's really important and i tend to like to sew halfway down the ribbon but you can sew wherever you want you can sew it at the top or you can sew near, near the bottom but not quite at the bottom because you don't want the tool to show through on the other side of the ribbon And stitch down all the way to the end of the ribbon and tool as shown now when you reach the end you want to go over maybe one or two stitches and then proceed to take another piece of ribbon and simply place it under your foot as shown at the tool on top and stitch to the end as before as you might have noticed I'm using my zipper foot here it's only that I can't find my presser foot for some reason but know that I shouldn't be using my zipper foot so I do apologize so before you attach the ribbon to the other side of the tools tool strips you're going to snip the threads between the ribbon as shown here just to separate the tool strips going to do the same process for the other end here I'm using a different machine because for some reason my usual machine wasn't working so I'm just using this really old machine but it's so good this is the first time I'm using this machine what happened is that when we moved to this house the machine came with the house so we kind of inherited it and I'm so grateful because now the, my machine is not working I can use this this really old one but it's, it's doing the job great I like it so continue sewing until all ends of the tools are attached to a piece of ribbon the same process as before and once you reach the end then you you snip the threads in between the ribbons to separate your tool pieces I've 
got my lovely paper paper towel model which I've covered in a blue cloth and I've also got um, crochet elastic band I think that's what you call it and basically I've just measured out about 20 inches for the waist actually 18 inches for the waist and I've attached the ends with my sewing machine so I pl place the elastic band onto the paper towel model and the aim here is I'm going to take a um, piece of tool, I'm going to fold it in half, make sure that um, each side is exactly the same length and what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread the tool into one of the holes on the band. If you watched my last video last week, um, you will. it's the same concept from the tutu dress that I made last week. So basically I'm just going to weave in the ends um, of the tool through the loop and tighten. So the beauty about the crochet band is that you can actually make your tool skirt multi-layered making it more fluffier and more gorgeous. The aim is to evenly place your tool around the band lengthwise and up as well so in in essence you can essentially have three layers of tool on this band so if you really want your skirt to be full very full you would actually place some tool in each and every one of these holes So the first pieces of tool I've just done, those are my three layers which I'm going to use as my guide. And here's the finished tutu with a ribbon bow at the front. It's really important that the tool is the same length when, when you fold it, just so that it gives you that lovely shape at the bottom there that you can see. So there you go, that's my finished tutu skirt. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And also please don't forget to like, comment and let me know what you think about this skirt. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more DIY tutorials. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. See you next week. Bye.